Hey guys, Mark from Copper vs Glass. When Android Lollipop first came out on my Nexus 5, I was extremely excited about some of the great new features that were coming with Lollipop. There was a great material design and just in general some really great improvements to the software and also battery life, especially on older devices like my Nexus 5. But one thing that was missing was the silent mode that had been available in previous versions of Android and it was actually quite hard to implement your phone to actually go into a silent mode. You could make it go quiet, you could make it go on to vibrate, but to actually make the phone silent Silent was actually quite hard. So today we're going to be looking at a brand new application called Sound HUD that hopefully rectifies this problem. I'm going to put a link down in the description below to where you can download the application, but it is available for free in the Play Store. Now the free version is only a 14 day free trial and to unlock the full version it's going to cost £1.29 here in the UK or $1.99 in the US. And in the settings you've got the option to turn the sound HUD on or off, customize the volume panel, audio and media, advanced and about. In the about section it just gives you some more information regarding the developer and also tells you other compatible apps that sound HUD will work with, for instance using it as an extension in Dash Clock. In the advanced option you've got a blacklist. Now what this means is you can choose certain applications, for instance Google Play Books or a game that won't show the volume when you're adjusting it. You've then got audio and media, and what this allows you to do is use your volume keys for shortcuts and also tone down the sound for when you're adjusting the volume, and you can also lock the volume stream. So instead of having different streams of audio for your notifications, alarms, you can have just one audio stream, which is great if you just want to make it a bit simpler on your device. You've then got option to the main part of the application and then here you can customize the volume panel. There's three different panels to choose from. You've got the expandable volume, status bar and the thin volume strip and all these are customizable with different colors. You can also choose the timeout so when you change the volume on your device the volume notification will disappear within a certain length of time. I have mine set to three seconds as if I want to change a couple of things be it an alarm and notification volume then it's not going to disappear too quickly. So let's take a look at some of the actual styles themselves. My favorite is by far the expandable volume panel, as what this means is when you go to change the volume on your device, you can see here that it brings up a full panel at the top. Now mine is gray with some white sliders and a white icon, but if you want to change it to, for instance, a bright blue and have the icons and also the slider go to black, then again you can do, and it changes instantly for you to see straight away, and again you can expand this one. You've also then got options for the status bar, and again, all this one does is replace the status bar at the top of your device. So again, if I do volume down, you can see there that it changes the status bar to show the volume control of my device. And lastly, you've got the thin volume strip, and all this one does is have a color along the very top. Now for this one, you actually need to change it. So if I pick white, for instance, then a white bar will appear at the very top of the device that will then allow you to actually go through and change the volume on your device. You've also then got a volume scrubber, which control the volume by dragging the progress bar. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work, and I think it's to do with the actual device, as it may work on some, but doesn't unfortunately work on mine. And you can also also do expand automatically which always shows the expanded panel so again if I go back into choose style and expanded volume and then tick this box every time I go to change the volume it will show all of the volumes on my device now as I mentioned at the start of this video the main reason why I downloaded this was to have my phone go to a silent mode now as you can see if you do volume down on the device you can see here that the ringer has actually turned off and my phone is now on silent and again you can use it to turn the volume up now unfortunately it doesn't do exactly what it says on the tin as if you control the volume as you can see here I'm pressing volume down and it's making a noise but none of the volumes are changing again if I do volume up Again, the volume goes up, but it is a bit inconsistent at times, which is definitely a bit of a disappointment, as sometimes it doesn't necessarily do exactly what you want. Now, if they can iron out some of these kinks, it's definitely going to be a great application to have, and I'd highly recommend it. And that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Like I said, this is a great application if you want to customize the volume panel on your Android device, or if you want to get the silent mode back on Android Lollipop. Now, some people are reporting that sometimes when they put onto silent mode, it puts their phone into priority mode, which is a feature of Android Lollipop. I personally haven't had this issue, as once I put my phone on silent and I actually rang my device, the call came through fine, but without any sound, so it done its job perfectly fine. But that is something to keep an eye out for, and hopefully something the developers can look into and fix, 
with a future update. If you guys have got any questions about the application, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want us to have a look at any other apps, hit us up on Twitter at Copper vs Glass, or again, leave us a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to get some more great content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Wait, turn off.